Hey guys, welcome back. Um, got another video for you guys. This video is going to be all about ECUs. Um, so I have been doing a lot of research lately um, on the subject of ECUs. Um, trying to figure out a really good setup for my car and I think I've uh, come up with a pretty good one here. Um, and one that I think a lot of Mirage people will want to copy. Um, so start off with this these are all ECUs that I've had in my car at some point um, from the original ECU all the way to my newest ECU which I will talk about here in a few minutes um, but basically I, I've learned quite a bit um, with ECU flash and just learning about these ECUs um, they're not all custom tailored for each individual car um, at least not hardware wise. A lot of these are the same ECU. Um, there are a few differences, <clears throat> but in general, they're all powered by the same processors, um, just different generations of them. Um, so let's dive right in. I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. So this is the original ECU um, from my Mirage. So this is a 2000 Mirage 1.5 five speed ECU. Um, it's based on an H8 CPU. Um, that's just a generation of processor uh, that they used for these. Um, you can see here M8-7203FA is the processor. Um, this one by comparison is a 1998 EVO 5 ECU. Um, it is also an H8 based CPU. Um, now I didn't know a lot about tuning when I bought this ECU so this is, uh, I picked this up from a friend of mine. I got it for a pretty fair price. I'm not, not complaining at all about the price. Uh, it was pretty good. So I bought this ECU. This is a late model Evo 5 ECU. It's one of the last of the H8 based uh, ECUs, uh, just like this is being from a 2000 model car. Um, so I had bought this. Uh, this one I had thought was untunable. Picked this one up um, with the intention of flashing SETI mods to it. Uh, so I got it here, um, put it in the car, flashed SETI mods, uh, flashed over just fine, and I've been running the car on this ECU for quite a while now. Um, now, there's a couple of things to note here. Um, again, like I said, this is an M8-7203FA CPU. Uh, that CPU is a later model. Um, it's kind of an oddball, uh, one of the last revisions of the H8 processor. Um, some of these Evo ECUs do not have the A at the end. Uh, if you try to flash a ROM from a M8-7203F CPU, uh, to an M8 7203 FA CPU, you will brick the ECU and vice versa. So you have to really pay attention to that. That's something, all you have to do is change the uh, uh, the definition file to either add or remove that letter A, um, and then the maps flash over just fine. So doing some research, I thought I'd open these up and just for comparison's sake, look at these processors. So you can see this standard control board stuff there's the CPU ID right there on top of the chip and that that's how you know by the way uh, which one you have you actually do have to open up the ECU and uh, take a look at the CPU on it and to see which one you have um, so that's the Evo 5 and like I said the the Mirage one is the pretty much the same you can see it's a very similar looking ECU uh, some differences but there you go, there's the same same processor number. So we can compare these side by side. You see there's some differences um, apparent right away. But for the most part, these are actually pretty similar ECUs. So just as a, uh, a proof of concept, I decided it would be interesting to try flashing uh, the map that I had made for this this ECU, the Evo 5 ECU, over to this one just to see what would happen to see if it would work. Um, so I plugged this ECU in and started trying to flash it and lo and behold it worked first time. Um, this ECU was a able to accept the SETI mods map and um, actually ran the car, started the car just fine um, and it ran. So you don't actually have to spend your money on an Evo 
ECU, you can get away with using your Mirage ECU for tuning. Um, it's it's just as powerful, and excuse me, you can actually use the uh, the SETI mods map uh, just fine. You just have to verify that that CPU that you have, and then add that in to the definition file for your ROM, and pr away you go. I mean, you're pretty much set to start tuning at that point. Uh, so, finding that out, I thought I would give something else a shot. Uh, this is my new ECU. This came out of a 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer, uh, 4G94, 2 liter, single overhead cam, 5 speed. Uh, and that's important because the automatic and the manual ECUs are different. Um, so I'll touch on that real quick. The automatic ECUs have the the TCU, the transmission control unit, built into them. So, and what I what I mean by that is not that um, there's a separate chip in any of these ECUs for that. It actually it's a different ECU. The TCU information is just coded into that ECU, um, and then it it outputs them through uh, the, the wiring harness. There, no additional wiring. It's not really that different, um, but. The wiring connectors themselves are different. So the 01 and 02 automatic Mirage uses a three connector, three row harness, whereas the manuals use a four connector, uh, two row pin uh, harness. So something to note. Um, and then also the 97 and 98 Mirages use a metal box ECU that's not flashable, just something to note. Um, if you have, well, I'll get to that here in a second. So this was the, like I said, out of a manual Lancer. You can see the manual Lancer uses the exact same uh, connectors as the Mirage ECU, uh, the 02 to 04 one. The 05 and up Lancers had a different one. Uh, there's a ton of different ECU configurations out of there. So just things to note, you have to make sure you get the right one if you're picking one up. <clears throat> but the automatic Lancers and the 01 and 02 Mirage automatic use that three connector, three row of pin harness, um, like I was saying. So this one uses the basically a plug and play harness set up for the Mirage. Uh, there's a few pins that need to be swapped around, but the interesting thing is this is based on the SH2 processor, which is the same processor that powers the EVO 8 ECU. Uh, you can see it's it's pretty different. That's a lot bigger CPU than the other ECU has. Um, so yeah, you can kind of see there's a pretty big difference there. This is a much more powerful CPU. So I figured if I could swap, or if I could flash an EVO uh, 5 ROM over to this Mirage ECU, then it would probably be possible to flash an EVO ROM over to this Lancer ECU. And a quick search on Evolution M showed that you can, in fact, do that. And a lot of Lancer guys do uh, to give them a way to tune their car. And it, it works out pretty well for them. So <clears throat> we're able to use this ECU in our Mirage because it's almost plug and play. Um, there are some differences in the wiring versus the actual EVO ECU. For instance, on the EVO ECU, you have to swap pins 8 and 22. With the Lancer, you don't uh, because it uses a 4G94, similar to a 4G93. I think it may be the same harness. So um, this one, you don't have to swap pins 8 and 22. You do have to move pin 20 to pin 32 and pin 21 to pin 34. And then the original pins 32 and 34 get capped off because they're not used. Um, but uh, that, and then I'm flashing this ECU over to Tefra version 7. Uh, it just works out of the box. The car starts right up and it runs. I haven't got my injector scalings or anything set up yet. Um, but it is working, so that's that's a big deal. Um, Evo 8 ECUs usually sell between $250 and $300 on eBay. Uh, I picked this up for $70 bucks shipped. So uh, this is the ECU that you're going to want to get if you've got a uh, Mirage and you're wanting to do some tuning and, and get pretty serious. Um, the, the differences between Tefra version 7 and SETI mods for these older ones is pretty drastic. So, now here's something really cool that I had found out. So the 01 and 02 Mirage Automatic, uh, people thought were untunable for a long time. There was not really any good off-the-shelf options for mapping. Nobody had really tried to map the Mirage. Nobody really cared. Um, 
though people are getting more into it now uh, with the Evo conversions, but uh, here's something really cool I found out. So the 01 and 02 automatic Mirage ECUs are based on the same SH2 processor that you would find in the Evo 8 and Evo 9. Um, the three row, uh, the three connector harness, excuse me, um, is the same as an Evo 9. So doing a little bit of research, I've been told that you can actually flash an Evo 9 uh, version of Tefra over to those ECUs and it will work. Um, is basically, you've got the most powerful Mitsubishi ECU already in your car. So you, you just need to flash over SETI mods and you'll be good to go. But something to note, because that you have an automatic transmission, if you flash an Evo ROM over, it won't it won't run because it'll lock your transmission up. You're, you're overriding the code that controls the transmission. So if you want to do a manual conversion on your car, you can use that Evo, Evo 9 Tefra ROM. And that, that's a very powerful tuning solution. Um, and I would say that's probably one of the best, <laughs> one of the best setups that you could possibly ask for, uh, in a Mirage. So that would be my recommendation. Um, now I'll show you guys a couple of the differences here. Um, so I've got Evo scan pulled up and I've got my final revision ROM from my Evo 5 ECU and my beginning ROM from my Evo 8 ECU or Lancer ECU. So here's some of the differences, okay? Uh, just one right away. Uh, here's the resolution of the Evo 5 fuel map. So there are 390 cells available for tuning. It's not a bad number. Uh, there's, you know, it's, a, it's, it's just a regular... Evo 5 ROM, so that, that's what they came with. Um, but if you look at the the SH2 uh, ECU fuel map, you'll notice that there's significantly more. So you've got a lot higher resolution for fine tuning with this ECU than you do with the old one. Uh, plus there's a lot more options. So uh, this one has 925 cells versus the 390 of the other one. So it's it's twice as big. It's, it's huge. Uh, this is just a far, far superior ECU setup. Um, <clears throat> so highly recommend doing that. Uh, something else that I will show you guys that I have done... Um, just to save my stock harness, uh, I, wiring harnesses in Mitsubishi's, especially on older ones, they get brittle, um, the wires can break if you're tugging on them or trying to repin them or unplug and plug in ECUs a million times, and I've actually had wires break on me before, so I picked up one of these, this is an AEM ECU patch harness. Uh, the Evo 8 patch harness is a plug-and-play item, so just grab one, plug it in, and you're good to go. If you want to do a rewire, if you need to move pins around for swapping ECUs, like I had to for this one, uh, rather than repinning your stock ECU, uh, or stock wiring harness, excuse me, uh, you can pick one of these up, you can leave your wiring harness all original, and then you just repin this. Um, it's a lot better option. It gives you a little bit extra EC or uh, harness length as well, which is nice. So that's what I'm using. I've got one of those. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys learned a little bit. Uh, I think this is pretty exciting stuff. Um, <clears throat> this is this is a really big find, I think, being able to use Evo four or uh, five and six maps on this. But uh, I really think that this is get pretty much the best option you could possibly ask for for tuning an old Mirage. So um, I'd recommend picking one up. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.